dog because he's like a well, multiple. Well, 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 so. well, like, do you want to ban like future site precog? Like, you know what's gonna happen in the future. You want to ban that? Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. We can ban that. That's what we got. Okay. Okay. All right, there you go. Okay, okay. So okay we'll ban what other um, types of precog all do then probably. with that one gone? There's a lot of list. There's a long list. <laughs> it feels like you one one slight yeah. problem though. It's just a slight problem. Here. What? I'm gonna be using Wolverine against nothing tomorrow, and he's the only one here who could record. Okay. Just fucking debate, uh, please. Help you with that. <laughs> just get yeah, it yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, might be a little No one cares. Yeah, that might be a little, that's that's a little rusty here, because I forgot about it for like two weeks, but I'm here now. Listen, bro, you um, just want to Alright, start. Get on with this. Uh, Alright. Alright, so, let's all right, well, Do you want to go first? See ya. Bye-bye. Give them the roll. Bye! Uh, I'll ping you in the place where we're like, post and stuff. Can you- can, can oh, they okay. see the- the- Commentary? Hmm? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, good. I look in the commentary. <laughs> Slipped, uh, added in what in zone two, and y'all are adding in zone one. Yeah, uh, well, zone two is never used, so we might as well use it. Okay. All right. So you want to start? Do you want me to start? Uh. I want to. I want to start. Okay, are you like outside or something? Yes. Yes. Okay, right, I want to start. You could start. Alright, you could start. Yeah. Okay, so I will start by saying in that I will start by saying that he will use the combination of the instant transmission and the destructo disc to one out will win. Alright, so instant transmission this Shark to this. Okay, can you post scans for that? Yes. And then today is because I can it's in very basic basis of instantaneous teleportation and the destructor disc has been has hmm, let's see. And it just, and it just right, code is can pretty much do anything. But let me get the date. Let me get like the screen of him doing the instant transmission. Oh yeah, just post scans. Yeah, I'm posting the scans. I have them all, but like YouTube is being YouTube, so it's taking a while. All right. Ah oh, crap, I need some beef. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay, go to 241 on here, and you see him having the engine transmission technique. And just, just post that uh, quickly. Alright. Uh, what did you say the timestamp was? The timestamp is 241. 214, alright. It's at 241. Oh, it's 241, alright, yeah, let's skip to that. Oh, great. Okay, this one's in mood. Okay. Alright, uh, you all accept the um, instant transmission stuff, so... Uh, I'm just gonna counter that with instinctive reaction, uh, body precog. So, like, Wolverine, he, like, doesn't even, like, have to think to look behind him. His body's just gonna know that you're behind him, and he'll catch you off guard. No, get that. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you want to see like the destructo disc that he can do it, like do you want to answer this first? Like I'm gonna need like two things for this one. Wait, so like wait, uh, for first let's well, first let's just uh, go one point at a time. So, like, do, do you accept like a counter to the instant transmission? Amazing thing. Let me look at the let me look at the thing real quick. Basically, your counter to instant transmission is his instinctive reactions. Yeah, he like tries to teleport behind Wolverine. Wolverine is just already gonna know like he's like behind him and catch him off guard because he doesn't even like have to like to look at him. He's just gonna know. Oh. Uh. Oh, so basically, he has ultra instinct. Well, kind of. I mean, it literally says yeah, here, you, like, which that, means while I'm doing it, I can think about other stuff. So basically, he can think about other things while he's while his instincts are taking over. So it's basically like auto dodging. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, yeah. Basically. Like, all Ultra Instinct is, like, an example of, like, what I'm giving, basically. It's not, like, completely the same, but it's similar. I just that go can use it to, like, a much higher extent. But we equalize that, so... But, anyway, yeah, but do you, like, accept my counter to in transmission? Mm -hmm. Has he ever used this against someone who can teleport before? Well, I mean, it, it doesn't, like, really have to be, because, like, instinctive reaction is just something that's, like, natural, so, like, he's already gonna know that you're, like, behind him, so it's not really gonna, like, matter if he, like, teleports or not. Like, he's already saying, like, yeah, my body can move faster than my mind could think, so, like, he's already gonna pretty much know that you're behind him and he's gonna catch you off guard instead uh. oh okay this one makes okay that one makes like um hmm. okay i guess i guess it does have instinctive reactions so now do i like find the counter to this well you said you wanted to like go over like destruct discs as well right Mm, mm, yeah. Well, like, oh, yeah. Like, uh, I'm just saying, you don't like, like, do you want to like go over that first? Mm. Yeah, I wanna, yeah, I was gonna go over the truck notice the next time. This time, okay. And my uh, computer. Yeah, you, you, oh wait, no, oh, no. Oh, okay, oh, man, I I thought my computer was messing up, and I was just on a different, just on like a different page. I was asking, but okay, let me get to this one. It is. Right, yeah, well, uh, if you want, you could go over the destructo disc. Yes, the destructo. Okay, so basically, the destructo disc has. Basically, the destructo disc is a move created by Glenn that he that he will learn how to use it, and it, and it pretty much can cut through a and it, and it has a lot of moves of durability and defense negation, essentially allowing it to cut to pretty much anything. Thing. So, all right, so and I could show you like which one is it here? Yeah. Oh crap, hold up a bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, and pretty much all I have to do is essentially cut through anything. And, and not only does it allow you to do this, but also, but also it has a tracking feature, as in it can, and it also has a homing feature, meaning that it can hone in on his on the targets and adjust itself to the movements. Alright, yeah, I just will scan for that. Yeah. There it is. Okay, I finally found it. Okay, so go to um, go to no, go to one minute here for him doing the destructive disc. And exactly. 
And then you see that has also like a homing feature. And not only that, but it can burst and become multiple type, multiple discs. But all have the same thing. So, instantly surrounding you from a 360 perspective. Okay, Wolverine does that like a 360 perspective if there's no room that does. Okay. Well. The problem is, is that the destroyer is still left like room to dodge, like in the clip you posted. So I'm just gonna say, yeah, Wolverine could not only you know dodge with his instinctive action. He's all like his claws also like allow him to like deflect attacks in that same skin. You could see like he's like deflecting lasers in that skin. And I also like posted like a definition of like attack deflection. Hey, what do you mean the? Like, attack deflection is pretty much where you, like, deflect, like, you know, like, for example, like, energy-based attacks, like, you could see him, like, deflecting lasers, which are, like, energy-based. Wait, I'm looking at, you're looking at the same pic that I sent you, why, because yeah, you never second, deflected it. Oh! I, I'm saying that oh, I see. Wolverine is going to counter it with attack deflection with, like, the destructo this and is instinctive reaction. How's he going to deflect the destruction? It is. I mean, because it's like attack deflection. You pretty much like deflect, like you know, for example, energy based attacks, and you could clearly see Wolverine doing that in the first scan. Wait, this in this first scan, you could. The scan I posted, the first one, he's deflecting energy-based attacks, and I also, like, posted a definition of attack deflection. Does it necessarily have to be, like, you know, a similar attack? This doesn't, that doesn't look like an energy attack. He was being attacked by swords. I mean, no, you could, like, clearly see that they're, like, lasers and stuff. Why would they be swords? Attacking him with a sword. I mean, oh wait, yeah, the guys he's going up against sort of laughing sword. You could see in the first part of the scan, he's actually like deflecting stuff. Okay, but this is a 360 attack, so how would he deflect that? Well, it, it, it's still like in the clip you posted, still like room to dodge. So I'm gonna say Wolverine. Is just gonna dodge it with his instinctive reaction. It doesn't matter if it's really a 360 view, and you know, once it's like no longer 360, just gonna deflect them. And that's the thing; they can all converge on him at the same time, similar to and like how the like, hell is open. It works. And if you'd like, I can also like give you scans of wolf tanking energy-based attacks and being like unaffected by them. You also prove that those energy based attacks are on the same level as the destructor is. I'm we literally just agree to equalize hacks, so that like really like matter unless like the destructor disc has some like special ability. I mean yes, you can pretty much have to do anything that negates the ability and stuff. And have these lasers that he tanked, do they like they negate the ability? Well, if you're going to argue durability negging, I'm just going to see, like, Wolverine's healing factor is going to kick in. Like, could it neg healing factors? <laughs> can, it neg can it neg healing factors? Yeah, and if you'd like, I'll get scans for Wolverine's healing factor. Oh, you don't need any scans of that. I've already seen how, what his healing factor can do. Alright. And we, he can, like, we attach his head back to his body, can't he? I mean, yeah, pretty much, like, regenerated from, like, you know, like, just from, like, a skeleton before. And, like, the thing is, is that, like, they can, like, the destruct of this, like, cut through, like, something that's, like, you know, pretty much... Actually, wait, never mind. Um, what I was gonna say is, like, yeah, Wolverine could pretty much regenerate from a skeleton, and, and at times he's even been able to, like, regenerate from a drop of blood.
But isn't that format different? Isn't that you said you're using six six sixteen or what you? Yeah, six one six. Yeah, six one eight. Hey, it, it's from like the old older days. It's still like in like the six one six continuity. How to have an image of him which is waiting for my drop of blood in the six one six continuity? Yeah, sure, I can get you that. Hey, what? Yeah, I was I was kidding. You can actually get that. Yeah, I can get that. Okay. While you're getting that, I'm gonna get something else. Oh, did you add the thing? Just give me a moment. I got weird thing. I just posted it. Oh. Yeah. I grab, I'm trying to find it. It's supposed to be here somewhere. Okay, here we go. Wait, what did you post again? Uh, Wolverine regenerating from a drop of blood. I posted a Wolverine regenerating from a drop of blood. Uh. Oh yeah, it regenerated from like a DNA strand. Yeah, and the thing that I also like to ask is like, um, how do, like, the destructo discs and durability? Bad. Alright, um, what, what was the skin you, uh, posted of? Okay, so basically, you said, basically, you know how, like, I said that Wayne had, like, instinctive reactions, so, like, didn't actually need to think, like, yeah. God's things? Yeah. Oh, has he actually does have a counter to this in the way that he can do some do some things similar in the way that his body, in the way that like his body subconsciously will me remember that his body subconsciously take into account what the opponent's doing and dodge it on its own. No, like I'll go and go and this and go who actually demonstrates this to twice within like this video here. I could give right, you the well, timestamp, but I need to look through here because, well, like, um, before I do it, forgot. are like the, uh, are, are like you know, like the animes canon to the video games. This and this, like the wait, what Say it again? Are are the video games and like the anime canon to each other? Mm. Are the video that's games? Right. Yeah. 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 Where was that? Yes, absolutely, because, like, GT is, like, the grand side story, but then, like, the Dragon Ball, order, and they added the side story into the Ultimate Tenkaichi games, games, and that's why you have, like, characters like Omega Sun, and then you also have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and that's why Hero also Whoa. remembers meeting these characters, and he even has abilities on each of these characters that are listed. Alright, well, like, could you, like, prove that? That they're like canon to each other. I, you mean like show you 
something, you mean like show you something of him doing something you saw them do? Like, that kind like of you said, like, you know, like, Hero, like, remembers, you know, beating, like, you know, whoever said, like, he beat in the video game, so, like, I'm asking you if you could prove that. Yeah, like, actually, yeah, actually. Okay. Here we go. You just want one example or two? Well, I mean, like, is it like... Well, yeah, I think one would be fine. Okay. Okay, wait. So, uh, did you, like, look at, like, the thing... Like, the first one I sent for, like, the instinctive reaction thing? Um, uh, can you give a timestamp? Ah, crap, I need to go find that. Okay, so there's what? I'm gonna have to go back and look. Okay, so one is probably at 8.48. Another happens... I think it happens in the same clip, but I'm going to have to, like, skim through it. But the first one happens somewhere between 8 minutes and 48 se 8 minutes, and then 8 minutes and 48 seconds. Alright. Alright. I should have gone through here to like timestamp these. Yeah, okay, and then. Okay, well, pretty much, like, yeah, Goku can, like, fight, like, while, like, he can't see, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's instinctive reaction. That could just mean that he could be using, like, his other senses. That's not necessarily instinctive reaction. Instinctive reaction is, like, where, like, your body can move on its own without you having to think, like, in that clip you showed, um, was, like, Goku able to, like, Without having things from like what I recall, uh, we've really seen him like do that with the like, culture instinct. This is a. I said that um, like with the first clip you showed with like Omega Shenron. That's not, like, necessarily instinctive reaction. It could just be, like, Goku using his other senses. Instinctive reaction is where, like, your body moves without you having to, like, think at all. Like, how, how does that, like... Like, Goku, like, you know, fighting without, like, seeing, how does that, like, inherently mean he has instinctive reaction? Oh, that was part one. Oh, that was just part one, dude. The first part was the one I had to find again like it's here now wait let me just scroll right, across real quick it should be here hey okay i think this one might be it you still have the video up like well yeah the, you like posted the video with like like a shenron yeah yeah Uh, hey, I was just about finding. Okay, go to six minutes, and then just you can stop it at six ten, and like explain, and like he base, and then keep further explains he's doing. Basically, his body so basically his body self compensates and women is for him. 
he doesn't the really focus on defense that much. Okay, so um, like, six minutes, minutes, six minutes in the first clip. Yeah, the thing. Wait, yeah, the thing that I sent you. Okay. Uh, Goku said, "Like, yeah, I can, like feel like every one of like your moves before you make them. But that could just mean he's using his other senses. It's not like inherently instinctive reaction. And you could say that, but you would have to prove that. I have no reason to believe he wouldn't. Have, I mean, he even said to himself, so that his body will remember it." So that means his body is basically living for him, leaving his mind free to essentially come and attack next. It takes the burden off him, essentially. That's literally just what he did. He's instinctively asking. Alright, I'll accept this. So, and, um, heroes can just one. Okay, so basically, let me just get where we're at right now. Both of us have instinctive reaction, and so basically, now that both of us have that, how does Wolverine further contend with the destructive disc folly? But, and then you said healing factor, right? Yeah. Healing factor. Yeah, got to. That is a good counter, though. But then, I also do. But I do have one other thing to say, though, like about like you, about like when you like playing yeah. uh, I'm a um, hero. Hero has actually dealt with beings that have healing factors similar to, if not superior to Logan, such as like Mazu and Cell. Well, oh, healing to like what ex to like what extent could could like he like nag healing factors on like you know like can he like you know can they like regenerate from like their limbs being broken could they like regenerate from like vital organs being exploded like to like what degree for instance like, as long as there's one cell one cell or atom left in the body and then when you get to mods and boo it's ridiculous because he can just regenerate from nothing but a mist, but there's nothing physical left of him at all. As in, just like a vapor. And then he can just completely reform himself. Alright, um, did you, uh. Did you, uh, post scenes for that? Like, the. Was it like the next two clips? Post scanning with Mazen Boo. Yeah, of like like him like nagging like Margin Boo's like healing factor and like Margin Boo being able to like regenerate on that level. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't want to like put one 
Oh, like that. So. Mm -hmm. like, one of like cell so. here. Because that's going to be the easiest to find. Okay. Oh. 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 Dang it. I guess it was uh, settled essentially explaining how he managed to survive his own explosion. Now, just once, just how only once one cell or atomic molecule, just one atomic molecule of him just needs to exist for him to go back. Also, you and also this is emphasized more in the fact that he even stated himself that he had no intention of surviving the attack. Meaning that his own regeneration even was himself, and this is after he regenerated from having his entire upper torso completely vaporized. Uh, uh, can you hear the timestamp? I mean, like, pretty much the whole video is it? Oh, wait. Okay, but let me just skip to like the deep important things in there. Then, I think I'll like explain it. Okay, just start at zero nine. In nineteen seconds, alright. Okay, pretty much the whole thing is just um, from that point on. It's just him talking about it. Alright. Nineteen. You can just skip ahead a little bit and go to like 58 seconds. Yeah, Cell said that, like, he could, like, regenerate on a cellular level, but, like, the clip itself, like, showed, like, there was, like, still, like, some parts of, like, his flesh intact. Yeah, he said basically that they were remade and that they kind of converged onto him. Yeah, he even stated they... himself that they were just, it was just one piece of him left. Well, yeah, but, like, the, yeah, he might have said that, but, like, right after that, it literally shows that there was, like, you know, like, some parts of, like, his flesh that were still intact. Oh, the, the, he said amongst the debris. That wasn't, like, his flesh. That was, like, the debris from, like, the rest of the planet that got exploded. Yeah, but the thing is, is that, like, the cell he, like, regenerated from was just, like, one... Giant cell. Exactly. Like that, like that, like to a gen right from that single little nuclei. Yeah, yeah it was in his head. I mean, that much. I mean that, it, it shows like, that, like that's it, it shows like that cell wasn't just like a normal cell, it was like one giant cell. How does that how does that in any Away from the feed. 
because that doesn't as long as that cell is there, he will continue to regenerate, and that cell yeah, is. But the thing is, it's not. It, it's not truly like regenerating on a cellular level because that's not like you know like the regular size of a cell. Ah, that, does, that doesn't matter. He's still regenerating from that explosion that he thought was going to completely vaporize him. And yeah, it he did, all, but that I'll thing was so, he did, like... This. He did regenerate from I, it, but the thing is, is that that cell was, like, one, like, giant cell. It was, like, nearly, like... If, like, it was, like, nearly, like, the size of an if not bigger. And, like, that's cells... That's because they like, zoomed like, in on it. They legitimately zoomed in on that little he even, cell. Even you know when it wasn't zoomed in on it. It, even, in, in, even when it wasn't zoomed in, even even when it wasn't zoomed in on, it, it still wasn't like a, a regular size cell. How does it that take still... away from the feed? Is what I'm asking you. Can you explain because how that would take away from this? I already explained it. It's that it's not you know regenerating on like a normal cellular level because of the sheer size of that cell. It's like much larger than a normal cell. You said, like so because when... it's not a normal size cell, it's not really what's been waiting on a cell level. Yes. You would, okay, so basically you could explain how a cell that's bigger wouldn't operate like a cell that's smaller. Well, you yeah. Explain that. Because, because, you explain because the thing it. is, is that, because the thing is that there's still like a lot to regenerate from with like a regular size cell, you know, there's not a lot to regenerate from so that by regenerating from like uh, a regular size cell is more impressive than you know regenerating from like you know like the size of like the cell cell has but then so, wait, so you're saying that because of the size of the cell that regeneration isn't as impressive yes because like it's like okay, okay look so you have um a cellular level type of regeneration and a subatomic type of regeneration. The sub, like regenerating on a subatomic level is way more like impressive than a cellular level because subatomic is far smaller than cellular. Then this to hear the fact that he said that he was already regrowing from that. So it was growing big because it was literally we growing cell. And it needs to get to a proportional size before it can fully we grow an entire body like that. So you could just say that as well. It's more, I mean like it's even like when even like when like the shot was like zoomed out on it still wasn't like it was much larger than a regular cell, which is the thing. It's, you can chalk that up to the cinematography, cinematography then want to show it off. There's so many ways that you. There are so many ways that you can. Yeah. It's like pretty yeah, much saying like, like a trick or like you know, the light, it, it, it's, or like how the show was put up. It's kind of like saying like I regenerated on like a subatomic level because my subatomic particles are much bigger, you know, than your subatomic particles. Like by like a lot. And that doesn't mean that not... really powerful. If yeah, you like, wanted to if say your that. Subatomic. If your subatomic particles are much larger than a normal subatomic particle, that doesn't mean that you regenerated on a subatomic level because the, it was still a large part to regenerate from. Like Wolverine only hey. had a single drop of blood to regenerate. Hey guys, um, can you like move on? Yeah, let's leave this to the judges. I have, I have one more oh, thing. Okay, Fate, uh, yeah. also, uh, so say one more thing. Uh, you have no contentions with, like, Wolverine's region? I actually do have, like, one last thing here. Ooh, that it's, a, it's higher. Okay. Wow, is it on? Do have, oh, wait, let me just post it here.
自己可以可以的，是不是？哎，这是哎，这是我来记了。So in when like Yellen Trunks came by and killed Fui and and cut Fui's head up and then killed him, like with his final blast attack. It says right here in like the Daisen Su, and like the Dragon Ball guy, he was that Fui's was reduced to atoms by that attack. And I don't think I need to say that like when Cell self saw himself. That was well beyond atomic destruction. So, like, so who was this like regenerating on an atomic level? Uh, I mean, Trunks killed Frieza on an atomic level. That same attack wouldn't have even bought itself because he would like regen from it, and that's in his lesser forms because he blew up in his second form. Oh, you can actually say that this over that. So his regeneration is actually more powerful. Before than like that attack, make attack. Then his weak right, so, transformation, like, he and he was in the perfect form when he got right, completely me, incinerated. All right, let me just read through this first. Just read like the last parts. Cause like when it says like right here, I actually just read it too. I did. He says though he thought that dot when Planet Namek was wiped out was five as a mecha. That he was reduced to atoms by a boy who had come from the future, reaching a miserable end. That's literally what it says, like the end. This would generate, proving that like this regeneration, even in his second form, not even his perfect form, is already well above the pay grade of a top like this in Grayson. Right, he was in well, well, like, form well, when like, he was killed. When did Cell take attacks from the sword? The sword isn't what cut Frieza out of atoms. It was Trunks' attack that, that like, incinerated yeah. into at atoms. Yeah, when did, I'm asking, when did, when did Cell, like, tank that same attack? That was that he tanked the attack. I said that when he, when he blew up, like, in his second form, Everyone was worried that they were going to die. Then Goku, who was in like his full power Super Saiyan state, teleported them away. And he died in the explosion. And then Cell even thought he was going to die, even though his second form is way stronger than Trunks was. Right here, his sword, by how he how he got Molly Watt by Android 17 and 18, like later on. But and he came back thing... on that. So even if you wanted to say all of that, it's just still a stronger form of regeneration than you're giving it credit for. Because it shows that it's well above that of the top levels of disintegration. That you would need much higher degrees to even, you know, like, wake up all his cells to begin with. Well, the thing is, is that, like, you said that, like, cell pretty much, like, attack from like that same sword i did not say that i said that his explosion was more powerful than both of those attacks that it was a they had a higher yield like the atomic attack right, that so, was it to me, so he so, still came the back on that clip the clip you showed was cell like exploding himself yes. self destruction technique is, is one of the most powerful techniques and Dragon Ball, as it like takes all of your built-in latent key energy and explodes it out. Like you remember Vegeta's final atonement? Basically like well, that, except this time he's doing it with the intention of killing everyone. He himself even said, I didn't even count on surviving. That was just pure luck. Okay, well the thing is that Cell blew himself up, so how would that really mean he regenerated on an atomic oh, level? Okay. Oh, are you really asking me he blew himself up, so how is that him regenerate? Did you not just hear what I no, said? He did, I, I, didn't, I didn't say, uh, I said that he blew himself up, but how would that mean he regenerated on an atomic level? Like, were like his atoms like exploded? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because one, the scan you posted was Frieza being reduced to Atoms. Move on now because you guys said that you're going to do one point, but now you're continuing to go over in circles. So move on. No excuses. Just move well, on. Well, they haven't finished. Please, no, like they the haven't slogan. finished. Like, they need to finish what they're saying. Like, we don't. This can't be left unlike this. Yeah, just like one last question. It's like. Oh. Between now. These two, self explosive technique and Trunks' at atomic vaporizing beam, like the final, like the final, oh, wait, and the chain is buster. Between those two techniques, when Trunks, before he went in to train with Vegeta and got significantly stronger, one of these two moves do you think is stronger than the other? Second form cell blows himself up, or Trunks disintegrating okay, freezer well. the atomic level? Yeah, but the thing is, is that that was Frieza, a, like, obliterated on an atomic well, not cell. And Cell has Frieza's cells within him. In, like, what? In, like, his perfect form? It, cell is legitimately made up of every fighter's cells, and it's even stated repeatedly. It's made up of every fighter's cells, Goku, Piccolo... Zeta, etc. Like, we can move. Like, yes. So this oh, is literally the way that, like, assume that he wouldn't be able to come back from an attack like that. Because everything legitimately points to him being able to. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is that with Frieza, like, it took him, like, like, how much, like, time did it take him to, like, remake himself oh okay we no okay okay wait, i'm gonna ask do you guys think i should like move on and just like i think i've said enough yeah I mean, move on like, I just wasn't really doing anything <laughs> okay let's just move on from that then all right i guess i'll give my own one con okay well as i was that taking a bit longer uh, yeah, oh, you're right about that. Alright, well, I'm gonna first argue durability nagging, Wolverine's claws, can nag durability, and I'm also gonna argue this to be layered, and I'll get the stuff for that. How many layers? Two layers. What the? Whose mic is that? Nothing. I was just me inside my dog's house. Bro, what? Uh, Did his friends go back to your house? I'm like st sitting in my dog's house. Just give me a moment, I have like two more scans to get it. Yeah, good.
Hello? Yeah. Hey, uh... He's just getting his stuff. This debate is sponsored by Reed Shadow Legends. No. 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 This is this 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 is black right, by mute these mute nuts. Your mics. Mute your mics. Reed Shadow mics. Legends. We should have done that at the beginning. I was wondering, like, where's like the sponsorship and stuff? This Again, I don't want to be a sellout. Alright, well, we saw okay, Frosted Flakes. Oh my god, can you meet your mics, please? Okay, but anyway, um, Wolverine, Negbor's durability, and we've seen that Thor has been able to take Ghost Rider Hellfire, which also negs durability because it not only targets your physical body, it also targets your soul. Oh, his claws managed to cut through Thor's body, whereas yeah. the Ghost Rider flames could then. Yeah, Ghost Rider is like Hellfire, also negative durability, and I even posted the scans for that. Like, Ghost Rider's Hellfire didn't work on Thor, but Wolverine's claws did. Oh, that's so, yeah, that's why I'm arguing. I don't stuff. Like, I posted That's a skin saying, like, uh, two layers of durability nagging. I just get this one. Alright, so, like, any, like, contentions, counters, what? Mm. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. So, wait, let me get the scans first and then I'll like explain them once I get them. It's gonna be like a lot to go over. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Okay, so first I'm just going to like put them on like these same level at first, and then I'm going to like do something different. Okay, so here we go. Like what? Do you, what exactly yeah. are you trying it's to do? The hero actually does. Actually, the hero at least has two is it? Since is he has, he could. He actually does have some. He actually does can have more than two. But like still finding that other image, that other stand that I do need. Still scrolling up through here. But first, for like this main one, here's the. You know the show. Here it is. Here's a name. Here's a picture of Cell not being affected by it at all, even though it negates to it. This is in his base, and this is just in a, him not even noticing it in a very casual stance. And he does the same move to Gohan in a Super Saiyan 2. And then Gohan catches this amped up version of like, the Destructo Disc, the Jester's Aura. Bad me. So basically, that's two moves that have been done. So the new ability negating. Well, and one was actually, and one was actually stronger than the last one was. So for meaning that these two types stamp. And it happened. It like to time. They basically go to like ten seconds. So I see it. Also, I wanted to say that Quillen was enraged when he did this because Cell ate Android 98. I mean, 18, yeah, Android 18.
All right, so timestamp for the second one. Hello? I'm still here. Okay, timestamp for the second one. Yes. 25 seconds, and then Watts to... Watts to about 51. Right. So about 25 to 51. Alright, so yeah, you caught the destruct. So, how exactly do you do the destructive disconnect durability? Mm. Exactly, that the destructive disconnect durability. Yeah, how does it like neg durability? What's there to like really indicate a neg durability? There's no one to case in it negs durability. I mean, you said you had a counter to durability negging. Like, you said, like, you know, here, like, I, I actually, like, what did you say again? I don't remember, like, what you said. Like, I yeah, said this is two, I said, you said this is, like, two, at least two layers in the do and in the case and yeah like the, the being like amped up versions of the destructo disc being used. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm asking. How did the destructo disc nag durability? Okay, let me get this other and then I have that further goes in the detail essentially. Okay, I heard the first reason as to why it can basically. Okay, wait, let me just talk about key in general and why even just the east key attack already on some level does negate negate you know, data and to a sense. Okay. Yeah. Supposed well to be here. Uh... Oh, anyway. Essentially, what key is, is, and like the. Essentially, what key is, is like it's mind, body, and spirit all coming together with codes, bigger, and vitality. That he. Essentially meaning that it works on like a metaphysical level. It can attack you on a metaphysical level. Like not so not just your body, but also like your spirit and your mind are also under stress. You're getting attacked with key energy. Like the nature of how it works. It's based heavily on like the Taoism, like ancient Chinese folklore. Uh, well, like, th does it, like, work the same in Dragon Ball? Explain it, though. It worked the same like, as in yeah, Taoism. And that's where Akira Toriyama got, like, the inspiration for Ki, essentially. It's shown uh, many times uh, throughout, like, the series. Alright, yeah, he, like, 
this might be like spiritual in nature, but I showed scans of how like Wolverine can neg people on a spiritual level. Yeah, and that kind of helps with like Dark Dodis. Because even like a base key attack can do this, and the Dark Dodis is an amped up version of that. As I just showed two amped up versions of the Destructo disc doing nothing to like go on Hans or essentially this could be, essentially this could be two to three layers. This could actually be three layers of like the ability negation and resistance. So how key just regular key works, and then you have a specialized key attack that's made solely to do that one thing. Uh, let me see if I have a camera to do this. I'll just argue that he tanked it, really. Alright, so like, going back to like my whole point with like Thor, that's already like two layers. And Thor, you know, has actually like fought against Silver Surfer, who's like spiritual in nature and all. And get the stuff for that. Freddy Krueger in the background. <laughs> Sounds like some phasmophobia shit right there. What the I hell? think it's I think I think it's diarrhea. Wait, that what was the... me opening my door. Oh, mute mics, please. I need to. Yeah, I need to start greasing that. That's what she said. Okay, so what are you getting again? Give me a second, I'm getting my skin. Uh, I'm just like getting like this. I'm arguing higher layers into like durability nagging on like a spiritual level. So you're saying, so basically, Silver Surfer's new ability negation is superior to. Oh, like, no, I'm saying that like, well, her look, you'll see him later. All right, so pretty much, um, Thor like has like fought against like Surfer, and like Surfer is like already like spiritual in nature, uh, and I'll like get more uh, scans of Thor fighting Surfer. Um, Surfer couldn't really like do much to Thor either. And no, Surfer couldn't do much to Thor when they. What? Wait, sorry, I didn't hear that. 
Wait, did you say that? Did you say that Silver Surfer couldn't do much to Thor when they were fighting? No, yeah, Silver Surfer, like you know, in like the battles they had, Thor, you know, was pretty much like winning them. Surfer couldn't do like much, like to them. Is that how it was when Thor fought like Ghostwire? I mean, yeah, I posted this again where, like, you know, like, Thor pretty much just smacks Ghost Rider with his hammer. So pretty much, like, Silver Surfer is, like, spiritual in nature. And Thor, you know, has been able to, like, beat him. And Ghost Rider, you know, could also, like, uh, is also, like, you know, like, his attacks, like, target your soul. And Thor was, like, unaffected by that. And Wolverine able to like neg that and also get more stuff so we saw like pretty much world breaker hulk and um, doing this stuff up silver surfer so okay what makes him spiritual in nature i posted the skin look at the second skin he pretty much like went into like an actual plane. Plane. yeah that's his spirit that's going into like the astral plane, though, isn't it? Or is like his I mean, spirit, his physical arm. I mean, Surfer is already spiritual. Oh, wait, let me get a second scan. It says, like, you know, like the astral plane is like, like main source of power. He draws power from like the astral plane. Yeah, it's his main source of power, so that already makes him like spiritual in nature. Okay, the thing is, like, I'm willing to accept that he's, like, su that he's, like, su that he's, like, spiritual in nature, and that this means that Wolverine can effectively attack spirits, but I do have, like, one question. Yeah. Okay, so my question is, you said that when Silver Surfer fought Thor, that he really could do much to Thor, and that they were pretty much equal? Well, not necessarily, because Thor pretty much, like, wins. So Thor beat him, and then when Thor fought Ghost Rider, he beat Ghost Rider as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. The question I have is, how are those two different? And if okay, Thor well, managed to just okay, beat both of them? Okay, so pretty much, Silver Surfer is already like, spiritual in nature. Thor fought against him, so that's already like two layers right there of, like, you know, being able to, like, like, resistance to, like, spiritual attacks, because Surfer's spiritual in nature, and Surfer couldn't do much to Thor. So that's already two layers. And then Ghost Rider, pretty much, well, because, yeah. Ghost Rider's spiritual in nature, too, isn't he? Like, more no weapons way. can't really go down. Wait, just give me a minute. I gotta get a, this one scan. I'm actually gonna go about a different way arguing this. So, uh, we saw like Wolverine fighting like Worldbreaker Hulk, and I'll yes. get that stuff. I'll get that stuff because I'm gonna go like a different way argue this. That's probably for the best. No Hulk has like Apple like Joaxon though. Yeah, wait, just give me a moment. So pretty much, uh, Wolverine fought Worldbreaker Hulk, and we've seen the base Hulk, 
you know, was able to break Thor's hammer and all that stuff for that. And I already posted the scan of Thor's hammer being able to affect uh, Silver Surfer. They already showed like an image of Thor fighting Silver Surfer, so that pretty much. Yeah, I know. I'm, just, I'm just getting. Uh, I'm pretty much just getting the scan of like Hulk breaking Thor's hammer, and I already showed that uh, Thor fought against uh, Silver Surfer, so that's like um, one later, two layers, and then. Uh, so pretty much it's already, like, two layers, um, for Hulk, and then... Because he, like, blows, because he blows, like, Thor's hammer? Well, no, he pretty much breaks it, not pretty much breaks it, so, um, yeah, so... I have one question about this scan, though. Yeah? Like, when you see breaks this hammer... Which version of Thor is this? Because, I mean, like, you, you say it's like... 616 14, but, like, you can go in, but, like, yeah. this looks like an older version of Thor. Who I mean, just because much weaker than, like, older, version. Just because, like, it's an older version doesn't mean it's not the same version. It's, like, Did still... you know that they're the similar versions? I mean, you, you could see, like, Thor, you know, when it's put against Surfer, he, they pretty much, like, look exactly the same. So, like, why wouldn't it be the same Thor? Like, what's really there to suggest that it isn't the same Thor? Is that a Marvel multiverse? In different universes? I mean, and basically, like, when you do something this, it's like... Uh, this is Hulk breaking Thor's hammer. This isn't the same Thor that was, like, in the other issues of Marvel. So I wanted to, like, have some, like, something connecting this in a Thor to, like, the 616 version of Thor, which is what Wolverine would be contending with. Well, yeah, you could see, like, the only difference between, like, this Thor now is that the art style is, is different, but that doesn't mean they're different Thors. Like, oh, it's the, to really uh, suggest. So it's made, that, so like, you're saying it's the art style. Like you, well, you can still see style, like all the, the scans I've like posted with Thor. It's in, like the exact same Thor. Like they look exactly like the same. Like Thor's from like different like universes. Like look completely like different. And honestly, you could have done this better. Like, say, like, you know when Hulk fought, fought Zam when he was, well, when he was well, okay, saying, like, wait, I'm not, okay, th this is, like, getting, like, off topic, but I'm just gonna go back to what I was arguing, so, um, pretty much Wolverine fought World Breaker Hulk, and we've seen Base Hulk was able to break Thor's hammer, we've seen that Thor's hammer has been able to affect Surfer, who's, uh, spiritual in nature, so, that's already like. Oh, it's two layers into like your ability negation. Well, no, because we saw that, you know, Wolverine fought Worldbreaker Hulk, who broke Thor's hammer, which can affect Silver Surfer. So that's already like. Hey, but that yeah, same hammer like... can still affect Wolverine, though. Wolverine just like. It Thor on his body, and even Hulk says in the scan that no, your hammer is strong, without it you are nothing, and he just tosses Thor over his shoulder. Well, yeah, he, yeah, like, that hammer still affected Surfer, that's the thing, his spiritual and nature, so, like, okay, could you, like, first, like, let me finish, like, what I was arguing, and then you could, like, refute me, so... Pretty much Wolverine uh, fought Hulk, who was able to break Thor's hammer, which nagged Surfer, who is spiritual in nature. So that's already, like, um, hey. one. So, like, for Wolverine, that's already, like, three layers right there. 
And then we saw, like, you know, um, Ghost Riders, Hellfire, you know, which can also, like, nag spiritual beings pretty much. Like, it didn't really work on Thor as to where, like, Wolverine's claws actually, like, worked on Thor. Okay, so basically you have, like, this. Thor, Hulk broke Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer was able to hurt Silver Surfer. Wolverine managed to hurt Hulk, who broke Thor's hammer. And that's three layers in, like, the ability in the Gason. Well, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'll see if I could already do more if I need to. Yeah, like, we even saw, like, yeah, Hulk... Uh, broke Thor's hammer, but like Hulk, you know, strolled to tank Ghost Rider's Hellfire. He even said, like, Ghost Rider's Hellfire, you know, like he was feeling pain. It does not mean that he would feel pain from Silver Surfer, too. I mean, so pretty much, like, Hulk um was able to like break Thor's hammer which affected Silver Surfer uh who's like spiritual like in nature and uh we also like saw you know Thor oh, tank we we also saw Thor tank Ghost Rider which also like, nags the soul while like Hulk couldn't like take it so like we saw like Wolverine nag Hulk so that's like four layers I mean, that's what, you could argue that would be four layers for Thor, but like that would only really be at best three for Wolverine. Because like when you're I mean, talking about why would it only be three? Because we literally saw we literally saw Wolverine nag Thor, and I even posted scans for that. Why would that only be like three or four? For okay, Wolverine? you know how you showed me a picture of like Thor. You know, like you show me a picture of like Wolverine stabbing through Thor and cutting him up. And then you showed me two scenes of Thor, like, casually, casually swapping hands with Ghost Rider and Silver Surfer. Yeah. What puts Ghost Rider and Silver Surfer's spiritual negation on a different level? Because the way you phrased it, they're basically on the same, I would say they're on a similar level, so you can't get a layer out of something that's on a similar layer. There's nothing that's that different about either of them. That's why I would only say it's three for Wolverine. Well, the thing is, is that why wouldn't it be four? Because we saw Wolverine fight Worldbreaker Hulk, who broke Thor's hammer, which, you know, can affect Surfer. So, like, that's already, like, one, two, two. That's already, like, two layers. Exactly. Hulk. And then he well, cuts Hulk. And, and, then it's and the thing three. is, that that's like for Hulk though. We saw like you know, his hammer pretty much interact with someone who's spiritual in nature, and then um, I kind of, wait, I kind of got this like mixed up. Wait, yeah. Like, yeah, well, Hulk um, broke, like, Thor's hammer, which can, like, hurt um, spiritual beings, like, surface. So that's already, like, two layers. And we saw pretty much Thor's, like, physical body casually. Hank goes Riders, like, Hellfire. And Hulk even said, like, yeah, your Hellfire put me in a lot of pain while with Hulk it didn't. And then we later see Wolverine cut through Thor. So, like, why wouldn't that be... Four layers. Okay, you know, I like you said that Thor pretty much spots Silver Surfer and Ghost Rider on an equal playing field. You said, like, that Ghost Rider managed to hurt Hulk. Well, Why wouldn't well, Silver yeah, Surfer I, I be able to Hulk Hulk? Because you just showed that both, all three of them being pretty much I mean, on a I somewhat similar scale. But the thing, but the oh, thing is, is that I never Ghost really. Ghost Rider hurts Hulk. And so, Surfer's didn't be able to hurt Hulk as well. 
The thing is, is that I never really said Surfer was above Ghost Rider from, like, what I showed. Ghost Rider, like, is above uh, Surfer. Because, pretty much, if you'd like, I can, like, give you a scan of, like, Hulk pretty much beating up Silver Surfer. Well, like, Thor, like, went one against him. Because, like, when you were talking about, like, the Surfer and Ghost Rider, I was like, because, well, you never gave anything for, like, how strong the spirits or, like, negation was. Then you just showed Hulk casually, like, going up against Thor, going, casually going up against them. That really wouldn't add a layer for Thor, unless one of them was stronger than the other. The, the, then you talk about Thor, Hulk got injured by, like, Ghost Rider's flame. Like, but then, whoa, but then whoa, like, Thor when did. he got injured by that, so, basically, also, you know, you said he caught the hammer. Well, yeah. He caught it and broke it, and it was able to, like, aim at the speed of the beam. Well, yeah. So, he caught and broke it, and that damaged, like, a spear to be in. And Wolverine managed to cut and injure him. So, that would be, like, two layers of Wolverine. Because, like, would you get three layers out of Jet when, Wolverine, when Hulk but broke, like, Thor's hammer? Because Thor's hammer can damage spiritual beings. And then Thor proved that by him fighting Silver Surfer. And after he fought Silver Surfer, he got broken by, like, Hulk. And then Thor, Hulk went through, like, a stronger version of Hulk. Hulk. So essentially, that would... You could all get that to be three. But, like, you couldn't really get that to four. I'm willing to accept it as three, though. I mean, you yourself said you could get it to four, so... why said three, you yeah, I said... I said I could accept it at three. I mean, well, yeah, you it's said... Alright, yeah. Alright, well... Alright, give me a minute. Because I kind of, like, got this a little mixed up. So I'm just trying to, like, okay, I'll give it. it. I'm gonna have it. Eat something after this. Oh. You guys ready to move on? All right, yeah, well, like, you said you accepted, like, three layers, right? Mm, yeah. If you want to just leave it at three, then... Well, well it, if y'all want to keep like... arguing, you can. Well, yeah. All right, let me see if I can get, like, an extra layer from, like, something else. Okay, we'll go for, like, seven more minutes. What's up? Hey! Stop fucking up, big red fucks.
the Jupiter squad. Yeah, uh, he wasn't looking. Let me, yeah, let me just quickly restart to this. So. All right, so fine, we, I know. we saw Wolverine, yeah, Meg Hulk, who broke his hammer, which can affect Surfer, who's spiritual in nature. And then we saw, like, oh, wait, let me get the scan real quick. You guys ready to conclude? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, so pretty much, um, this is stop one. bugging him about that. So that's one, <laughs> two. It is going on pretty. Three. you finding again all right so pretty much um go where um uh, pretty much uh his hellfire couldn't work on uh thor whereas with the hulk it actually was able to work on him and we've pretty much seen hulk beat up surfer who's spiritual in nature and then pretty much like wolverine we saw like neg thor who basically scales above that Hey, this isn't hey Thor didn't like the whole surfer. This is him grabbing Surfer out of a portal and just tossing him off his board. Wait, sorry. The surfer was egged, like the this is, seeing, this is Hulk grabbing Surfer off of his board via teleporting but to the side of him and then just tossing him away. That's I mean he not why like, darling that's just someone can't. tossing someone away. I mean it proves he can interact with Surfer. I mean, it he's, do you have a scan of him, like, beating Surfer down? I mean, that would be... Because, like, if Hulk, if Hulk himself, like, wasn't, like, spiritual, he wouldn't even be able to, like, interact with Surfer. I mean, like, I get that he, you know, I mean, I know he's spiritual because he can interact with Surfer. But what I'm saying is, like, that he pretty much sneaked him in this instance. Because you're behind him without warning. Well, alright, yeah, all right, let me just get a scan of like Hulk beating down Surfer because I had a scan like that. Be clear, we're both like at four layers of durability in the case. I saw you like set four layers. Like Oh, oh yeah, three. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah sorry about that. I was gonna say three, but then I said Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, I forgot. Oh, oh, this is him being up so, so uh, pretty much uh Thor was unaffected by Ghost Riders like Hellfire, whereas Hulk, you know, was actually like in pain by it. And we've seen him like uh beat up Surfer, who's spiritual in nature. Wait, isn't this like a downgraded Surfer Surfer because he doesn't have his board? I like mean, it's where he draws his power from? I mean, we're, the place he draws power from is the astral plane, not his board. Can I even prove that? I mean, yeah, but what? I mean, yeah, you did prove he draws it. But like, doesn't the board like help him transmute that as well? I mean, because like he's all if he's separated from his board, I mean, like doesn't the, the he board, lose some power? The board really just like helps him like fly and like gives him like stealing hacks, really. So he can't fly the board. So, like, like the board doesn't like necessarily downgrade his power. Okay, also, you said this is like. Oh, wait, let me just put these here first. Oh, wait. Oh, crap, I'm on the wrong thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you said this is. What the? What is happening? 
There we go. Okay, so basically you said that this. Okay, basically you said that Silver Surfer was spiritual in nature, right? So if he's spiritual in nature, how did they catch him and put him on ward? Like, because this is where Hulk is fighting him, like on the ward. And it's well, okay. Oh, wait, one second. Sorry, I was back. Where, um, what were you saying? Okay, so, so okay, I was going to say, I was going to tell you something different, but like instead, I'm just going to do something. I'm going to let you have like that fourth layer because I did find other stuff that I could use for like hero and just like speed things along. Okay, so you have and I have three. All right, so like, do you accept it like, working? Hey, okay, so let me just okay. So before that, I'm going to I'm going to say that like, yeah, yes, I do see like that he can interact with like spirits, but like, and that just add like a, no, I can actually add like another layer, of, like a certain acts can like hurt spirits. Oh, but then I would like to show this too as well. Like when Kid Boo was fighting Vegeta in life. And the whole thing is him fighting Vegeta. Or you could just go like 40, 50 seconds in. And you see the like him, him and Vegeta like swapping hands. Also, Vegeta was dead here as evident by the Halo. Means that his Gohans is alone, but in a spirit, someone who basically was a spiritual being. You could also put Hero at four. I also have something that could get him to five, but like, I was gonna show this first. And the thing that gets him to like five is at the bottom, like the old thing. He, see him. And you see, like, go to 340 on like the bottom clip. And you see this giant hole that's being whipped through the mention caused by the birth of like Janemba. But there you go, there you go, nobody wants to be from beats like the birth Janemba. This adds like two extra layers to like his durability, like resistance and negation. And like how you like structure your resistances to like it. Wait, so did you watch the did you watch the first one? Yeah, like could you explain like how it's like structured? What? I'm I'm saying could you explain how you like structure your resistance to durability negging? Like lay like the scaling chain for it basically, like what yeah. he did was like Wolverine, yada 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 yada. Basically, he did. I mean, basically, I went all, all that was scaling. But then, I guess if you like want one, essentially, it's like, essentially, it's like this. It's made up of like in body and spirit. Like it can attack. So like it can basically a key attack, like just those regular key beam attacks, already damage like my body and your soul. But the fact that they can do this. Without an aura, and they can just do it with their physical blows with really no key output. Also, just shows like they have an extra layer and then of that. Oh, yeah, another. So, oh, yeah, that's how that one works. For this second one, 
And for the second one, who will really? That basically just proves like the first layer and for the fifth layer. Essentially, did you go to 340 on like the bottom one? It's like you're still there, but I blank out. Slick is no, muted. Maybe he's listening yeah, to the video. Here. I'm still here. I didn't mean, okay. body. I didn't mean to show you, but did you finish look at the video? Yeah, I looked at the video. Like, 40. Oh, that's like... Can I, that's like breaking through like the dimensional barriers. Yeah, like how does that necessarily like add resistances to durability negging? That's the numbers. That's the numbers first form being born. That's pretty much just neg negating like the... Negating like the barriers between like heaven, earth, hell. Essentially just boy gain and whipping through them. And go and then go to and this form that you see pretty much just wax him while he's doing that. This is enough. Meaning this is just like another actual layer of dub that he is that resistance for like hero considering he copied this move from Janemba and can use it himself. And this is and this is a da and this also the first form you see him in. This first form would get completely cut in half by like his Dimensional slicing saber. I mean, it's a dimensional slicing sword that has been shown to like Nick. That's been shown to like Nick. He did as well. And even does it on a higher level, seeing as how it was able to damage Super Saiyan 3 Goku, whereas this Sebastian Nimba and his base form could not. Oh, that, that's why it's like five layers. All right, so five layers, you're saying? Like you said, um, you argued five layers, right? I mean, yeah, that's what I just got to say. Right, I'll accept you it. Get to explain why this is five layers. All right, yeah, All right, I'll accept it. So, I guess, do you want to give a win con? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got like a win. Okay, I guess I'll give like a win con. Mm. Oh, what one gun should I choose from? There's a couple of ones I could choose from. Um, yeah. Ah, my first, my second, I'm gonna make my second one, uh, anyway, my second one gun something really unique. I'll just argue that, like, you know, I'll argue that, like, he will, will, I'll argue that, oh, well, wait. He has a lot of bunch of techniques. Oh yeah, he would shoot Wolverine into space so he would suffocate. Or blast him into the sun. Wait, is that? Wait, am I muted? Guys, dead or something? I'm just like um waiting for like like. Did you did you see did you get what I said? Oh, no, he's muted. That's gonna go to conclusions at some point. Uh, possibly.
he said, okay, but like, like he said one second. He probably he's getting something. Like it shouldn't take that much longer. After he does his next win con, we'll just go to like we'll probably be done because we'll both have two win cons essentially. And after that it should be a bit So you over. just said for your recent one is like he'll either you'll either blast him into space or blast him into the sun. I mean both are in space, so yeah. Yeah, so suffocation, I guess. And uh so we'll know that he can suffocate if like he doesn't have air. Well, the way we should kind of like you know, kind of go through because this is about to hit the two hour mark. I clap. I, I hate it when we go over like that, but that uh, much. Fate. I'm surprised you didn't know that. I honestly forgot. I'm kind of hungry, so my view of time is a bit like view of time for hunger and go eat after this, okay? I should. I need to get some beef or bison. That's not wrong, but okay. Spicy. Beef is good for you. Especially <laughs> lamb beef. I must say. They're spicy. You're eating spicy chicken. Oh my god, fake. He wasn't. He wasn't eating. It's, hey. it's a meme. Alright, alright, sorry. I just want to do something really quickly. Uh, what was your win con? Okay, so essentially what I said is that. That dude. That. Time. Essentially, what I said is that he will just like pass wing into space, go into the sun, and he'll All suffocate. Right, so like, with like one of his energy attacks, how does he does it? How does he do it? Oh, does he just said energy attack? That's pretty much sums up how he'll do it. I know that uh, he'll well, just like trans and transmit him into space. Well, I'm just gonna say that um, Hero won't even be able to like touch Wolverine. Because of how much more skilled he is, and I'll get the stuff for that. So, pretty much, Wolverine uh, was able to, like, outmatch Iron Fist. Alright, just give me a moment, I'm getting that. Yeah. And um, Iron Fist was able to like outmatch uh, Captain America, who knows like every martial art known to man. And I'll get that stuff. So uh, this is already like three layers of like knowing every martial art known to man, and I'll argue more if I need to. Um, and I'm also gonna argue that, like, Wolverine will just like, adapt to him. Since it was stated that Captain America can, like, quickly adapt to, like, any, like, fighting style and situation, even if he's never seen it before. And I'll get that. And uh, Captain America also outmatched Taskmaster, who can adapt to like any fighting style within seconds. I'll get that. Captain America fighting Taskmaster. Oh wait, no, I'm I getting the guy in. I'm getting that really quickly. No. Sorry, I have a lot of stuff to go through. I just have to get it. Oh, I...
All right, so I'm also going to argue that to be like um, one, two. I'm also going to argue that to be four layers of adaptation since Captain America couldn't adapt to Iron Fist, who couldn't adapt to Wolverine. Okay, this is him. So this is. So basically, like, like hero just oh, like, Wolverine managed to beat Taskmaster. No, Captain America, dude. I mean, no, Wolverine managed to beat Iron yeah, Fist. Wolverine. And after Iron Fist beat Captain America, and then Captain America beat Taskmaster. No, it's first Wolverine beat Iron Fist to beat Captain America. Who knows? Every martial art, no man. So that's already like three layers of skill. And for adaptation, Cat has stated that Captain America could quickly adapt to like any situation and fighting so even if he's never seen it before and he outmatched taskmaster who could also do the same thing and then and for like adaptation captain america can adapt to iron fist who couldn't like adapt to wolverine so just pretty much to say hero won't even like, be able to touch Wolverine because Wolverine is just far more skilled and he'll be able to adapt to him as well. Okay, so you said this is full of layers of skill, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I do have like a question about this. So, like, you said, okay, so this is how you said it. You said Wolverine beat. Iron Fist to beat Captain America, who knows every martial art on Earth, and then and also can adapt to any situation that he's never been placed into before. And Captain America beat Taskmaster. Yeah, like the first story. Wait, Captain America beat Taskmaster, and then Iron Fist beat Captain America. Doesn't no, that mean Iron that's Fist not could what beat I'm saying. Okay, the, too? the three layers thing was for the skill, and then I argued. Um, like adaptation to like add to it, so it was like stated that Captain America quickly adapted the situation, even if he's never been in it before. And then he, you know, out adapted it against Taskmaster, who could pretty much do the same thing as well. And Captain America couldn't adapt to Iron Fist, and Iron Fist couldn't adapt to Wolverine. So that's already like four layers of adaptation and like three layers of like mastery of every martial art known to man. Okay, so the martial art has three layers, but then the adaptation adds another layer because he can adapt to different martial arts. Well, yeah, that, that's adaptation, and I'll argue like more layers of skill if I need to. So I'm just pretty much gonna say like Hero won't even be able to like touch Wolverine because of just like how sheer. Uh, like skill, or like how much sheer skill and like adaptation he has over hero. Okay, well, okay, how will this help him against like a beam attack from a wins? Why it's a plan? Well, like, is like why? Well, like, could you like, I mean, Wolverine, I, mean, has, like, I could argue skill if I had to, but like. How is he going to possibly dodge something that's wide as a planet?
Cap and eat odds. Uh, well, not gonna even be decided like, on an island. Well, the thing is, is that like Wolverine has tanked energy based attacks before. I'm not saying that it, I'm not saying it would, <laughs> and it's not a matter of tanking it. It's a matter of the blast sending them into space to suffocate, or sending them into the sun to so burn and suffocate. Right. Well, like, could you like like Wolverine would like suffocate in space because that's a claim you made. And. Um. I mean, I feel wise he could suffocate, but like, does he need to, does his healing factor protect him from the I mean, you, you made the claim that he could suffocate. Like, I'm not gonna prove your claim for you, you made the claim. I mean, can he, does he need air to breathe? But the thing is, is that I don't have to answer that question because you made the claim. Saying like, yeah, he'll suffocate in space. Oh, it's a theory. I wasn't really making like a statement. Well, I mean, out of the way, he still just, like, made a claim though. Like he's gonna like suffocate him into space. That's a claim you made. Not a claim. That's a hypothesis on like what I'm thinking. I mean, that like is a claim you made though. Like he's gonna like suffocate him into space. Like I don't like. Need to like answer your question of can you suffocate in space when you made the claim? And one thing I'd also like to ask is that like, is it like in character for hero to like fire a blast that's like that big? All beam attacks can be big, especially if he's doing a certain type of beam attack. Well, like, is it like in character for him to do that, like, specific attack? Hey, say that again. I said, is it in character for Hero to, like, you know, make an attack, like, that's, like, that big in, like, like the beginning of a battle? Like, when he has someone, you know, who's, like, against someone, you know, like, who's, like, far more, like, skilled than him and could, like, adapt to him. Like, what I'm asking is, like, is it in character for him to do that? Like, the beginning, like, like a battle or something? Because I'm just going to say, you know, before... Hero could even like fire that like beam. Wolverine's already gonna be like outmatching him in like skill and is gonna be like adapting to him. And like, but it's got, well, but he'd be out of lanes at that point. Then. What do you mean, be out of range? Wait, so what do you ask? So are you asking if he'll make like an attack that big? Yeah, I'm asking if it's like in character for him to do that. I'm, like, asking you a question, like, if it's in character for him to do that. character for him to do that, because of this right here. Alright, well, like, I never, like... I never, like, said he could, like, do it. I'm just asking if it's, like, in character for him to do that. I mean, this. No, I mean, this proves both points. He can do it, and that he will if he has to. You know, like how Tian did that white tail area of effect attack on second form cell, and then, like, how Goku did that wide yeah, attack never, as well. Then Vegeta's final flash eclipse an island. Yeah, I never said he couldn't do it, I just said if it was in character for him to do something like that.
That's what I was saying. It is a hero to him because he took inspiration from all of them, especially Trunks. Like, but how he, but how he will instantly go to finish a fight as fast as possible. So see when he combats the baby leader, where he quickly realizes he's a threat and takes him out. Okay. Out. So if he realizes that will win like a massive threat and like skill. <laughs> So take him out with a wide key attack, like how it's completely equalized in perfect cell when he went back to future. Yeah, but like when Vegeta attempted to cell, like when he was like when Vegeta can like when he realized that cell outmatched him in physical strength. So he tried to vaporize him with a final flash. That completely took over an island. Yeah, but like that doesn't really answer my question though. Does it matter? Uh, how, he t I just like, said that it's in character for him to do, and I just explained character within set points in his story where he did in fact do that. Where he took inspiration from their well, mentalities. Like, the skin posted it doesn't really, like, prove that it's, like, in character for... Okay, wait. You see, like, the accent skill? Ooh, like, scroll down. Yeah. Okay, essentially, those are the skills that he has in the game. These are skills and basically the experience and the fighting techniques of the opponent, of the people that are that he has basically fought with. With and he's inherited a bit from all of them, all of them. And he inherited from Trunks his his pragmatism, meaning that he'll go to instantly and a fight fight in any way he, he can. And as well as Vegeta's Vegeta's like thing for like wide key attacks. No, but that doesn't really like answer my question because like it's like you know if it's like in character for him to do that, and if it is like when does he do it? It's kind of like Goku. Like, is it like in character for him to like use the Zeno button to like summon Zeno? But those are two different. Huh? I'm and, just giving you yes, an example. it is in. I mean, yes, if he sees that he's out fast and still. He will do. He will do that. Just that he's never really been out in skill before in like his game. Mm -hmm. All right, so like, what does this like energy attack exactly like do? Like, does it just like? Blast can you as can, as can, well, energy attacks can really do. You can do a lot, really. They can pierce through you, cut through you, blast you apart, yeah, uh, or like, continue like, flying. Like, like, what what type does it do? Like, you know. Like move you back? Does it like disintegrate you? Does it like stab right through you? Yeah, it can do pretty much anything the user wants it to do. That's the that's kind of what key does. It's really malleable right. and you can use it for whatever you want. And so, like a video of the different uses of like key. All right. Well, like. Oh, um, you could do. Could you like also demonstrate it by? I already did. There's an entire video up there about how the different uses of key work. How you can separate it and get like remote controlled. How you can pretty much direct it and your opponent flying back with like a spirit ball, like how Yamcha does. Right, well, I'm just gonna ask. Like, like, the judges and just. No, wait, I have like, I have like, one like, more thing to add. So like, one thing okay. I'd like to ask is that um, you know, is my main character to like try to like BFR someone really? Yeah. Yeah. Is it in character of him try to BFR someone like that? Because, like, what you're basically arguing is BFR. Conclude, conclude, conclude. Stop. Sean. Yeah, technically. Technically, technically, yes. Of like going based off of. Of like going based. Yes, it is in character. So, we're going to do that. As well as the game, dude, lines for and from like movies, and also from like the okay, from like Goku, and how Goku finished off his opponent, really sends them off into space. Oh, how he did the cooler, how he did to like how he did the cooler, how he did to like wait, like how he did to uh, what was his name again? I mean, was it like his, oh, like, Slug? Like, like if it's if it is like his like first time like fighting against someone if you're like using standard battle assumptions if it's like his first time fighting against someone, you know like w would he like try to like BFR them and like 
when would you do that? I mean, even if you trying to be a father, a full-powered key attack can still send you flying. Especially if you don't really have, like, something that can, like, keep you wounded. It can and will send you flying back. I mean, even in the space. Since like my attack deflection wasn't countered, I'm just gonna say like he's just gonna deflect the energy attacks. I mean, with that nat good. How is he gonna deflect an attack that's that massive? I mean, could you like look at the definition of like attack deflection? Like that I posted. Know what it problem? is, but like there's still a size limit. Point. Like how is he like, going he to like? It, so you can't. So you can't say that's like. When did I drop it? Wait, 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 just just save that for wait. Wait a minute. Just just like save that for like for like judgment here. Yeah, to be honest, when did he drop it? I'd like to know that too though. Yeah, I I never just dropped it. it. Yo, okay, goddamn it. Just save it for like the judgment. Okay. And, like my like, attack deflection was never countered. Like you two need to like conclude like, pretty much now It's right at the two hour mark. So, uh, well, I, well, could I go over like, like, do you have any more win cons, fate, or like, could I go over like my last win con? No. I was going to go over. I mean, I was going to go over like skill. Uh, oh, if like this, but then I thought I like, go skill. over skill when I get, like fire in the space. Like here's like. Alright, so like, are you gonna try arguing yeah. skill? I would take a while. And already, like, at two hours. I didn't really expect this to be, like, two hours. I thought maybe, at best, an hour. So, like, that was kind of the part to me. Should have argued skill possibly too. <laughs> no. But, like, I thought I could do skill. I thought when I was debating this one, I thought, hmm, I could do skill, but this would be the you path of least resistance. Like, you already, like, mentioned the count, like, your, like, your count, the count that you were arguing for skill. You already, like, Mentioned that it's like two hour mark. This time it's like two. And I guess I'll yeah. go over like my last one con. No, no, no. No, no, you're not going like, to like, conclude. All right, fine. I'll we'll go to conclusions. Fine, we'll go to conclusions. Yeah, but I was saying something. But I was saying something like this last video right here shows that when given the advantage, we we'll copy go to and it literally just sent him into space. And even if you're not trying to send them into it. The kinetic force of the attack will still send them into space. You can see just how wide and massive this key attack is. It's dwarfing mountains. So maybe that's the last thing I would like to say for that. I mean, if it's like an energy-based attack, my attack deflection was a counter, so I'm just gonna, like, say that, really. Oh, but, uh, so, the, you mean the attack deflection that deflected those tiny lasers? I mean, it wasn't countered, though. That's the thing. That's why I'm going to use it. It wasn't countered. Leave it to the judges. All right, fine. Do you just want to go to conclusions, then? Mm, okay. I guess I guess we can just go to conclusions, All right, then. Fine, we'll start out. So you first tried to argue um, durability nagging with, like, the destructive disc. Um, I believe I countered that pretty well. No, oh, with like attack deflections and like along with instinctive reaction, and then um, you did like say like yeah, like you also had um instinctive reaction. So like we kind of like I'd say like we both like kind of equal for instinctive yeah, reaction. We, uh, instinctive reaction, but I do believe my attack deflection was encountered. Um, so. Uh, with the whole healing factor thing, I thought I took this point because um, I don't feel you could really prove that um like cell could truly heal on like a level like that, and like you tried to like give an example with like Frieza, but like, you couldn't really like prove that like cell was like comparable to Frieza, and I also like ask you um for like uh, I also asked you you know how long would it take for, how long would it take Frieza to like regenerate from that and um you didn't really answer my question that's because so Frieza can't regenerate well you, 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 you can't interrupt my conclusion conclusions let him conclude he's not making any new arguments and then, and then um what I tried arguing uh, durability nagging 
with Thor, you um accepted four layers, but then you did counter um uh like the five like your like, five layers, and then um would we do that? Oh yeah, then we went to skill. Um, I thought I uh, took skill because I did argue multiple layers of skill and adaptation, and with like your whole BFR thing with energy attacks. I do believe, like, my attack deflection was encountered, so I would just say, like, yeah, like, uh, I thought um, I took pretty much all the points except for, like, the point where I was trying to argue durability negging. Yeah, it's my, it's my turn for conclusion now. Like, is it my turn to speak now? Like, can I do it? Yeah, you, you, I can't interrupt you during your conclusion so you could speak. Okay, so like, first off, for like, the ability of negation, I honestly do, honestly do, okay, for like, the ability negation, I do, I do know, I know that I took that one by like a yeah, good amount, due to the destructor just being able to split into multiple volleys, and since both of them have instinctive reactions, they were kind of just countered at each other, Wayne wouldn't be able to dodge a 360 attack like that, and even if he managed to dispose of another one, another one would just come up and cut his arms, and then once he's cut into pieces, he would just follow his steps and do like that disintegration attack. On like the regeneration thing, if he wanted to say like that that cell was big like a regular cell, cell was still far more harsh, harsh if he, that would actually increase the ability due to the fact that Trunk and his weakest state that we've seen him in was able to casually sit vaporize freeze at atoms that same and that and then Cell came back from an attack completely healed and even got an amp from it and got sent back into his second his super perfect form without the Android 18 after he blew himself up in his second form. Yeah, his regeneration is well above atomic levels of destruction to prove that he has superior regeneration to that of, like, Wayne, if he can come back from just one damaged part of himself that barely recognizable in an asteroid field. And then on to, like, durability negation. As Slick said, I did take that with the five layers. Is, wait, am I missing something? I think I might be missing something. No, that was, like, I get one part. No, that was, like, the second point. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay, so basically, he said I did take the five minutes of, like, the building negation. So basically, Wolverine Mars wouldn't really be able to hurt go in the long run. And then as for, like, the scale point, I did forego arguing scale for, like, the beam attack, for, like, the exit area of effect attacks that the Dragon Ball Z black key blasts do. And I still do stand by the fact that he would just blast Wolverine away or into space due to just how massive and concussive these blast attacks are. Like what Goku did to Vegeta when he had every chance, when he had the opportunity to do. And I also showed how he has the fighting types and mentality of the characters that are most likely to you know, do the big area of effect attacks. Vegeta, Goku, Future Trunks, etc. Now both of them were just gonna go for the kill when they had the advantage against an opponent. And he's also also showed how he since he has trunks his fighting style, he won't underestimate like Wolverine to be going for the kill right off the bat. And, so, and that's for like that it, something else. <laughs> and after like the attack deflection, he did show that it could deflect attacks. But he didn't show what stuff, but he didn't show anything to the size of like, you know, a beam that eclipses islands or like it dwarfs mountain ranges. So while I do think it could deflect the smaller key attacks, it won't be able to do anything against something that's big and massive. And so I end with that. Alright, judges. Okay, can people hear me? Yeah. You. Okay, so, um,. First of all, I thought this I thought this was a pretty nice debate. I think I'll both improve pretty well. It certainly wasn't boring, I'll definitely give you that. So I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start from the beginning. Um okay, for the first part and then for the I'll catch some single reactions later. Um y'all went on y'all were talking about like um 
deflection for a while. That's the first thing I want to go into. Um, Faith, I want to know, like, what it, remind me what you said when he argued deflection. No, like, yeah, I wasn't able to, like, deflect an attack that size, but I gave, like, a definition know, I, of, like, attack I, deflection. He said no, stuff man. before that when the point was originally brought up. It, like, wait, oh, what yeah, did I, he said, I, I argued, like, instinctive reaction when he brought up, like, energy about, attacks. Oh my god, I'm talking about the, just the deflection thing right now, because, like, oh. I, kept, I kept hearing... Attack about, deflection, yeah, he said uh, that, like... Yeah, I did prove I have attack deflection, but like, not like the size of like his like energy beams. He also brought up that he, he didn't have... prove that would deflect their ability to make. I remember he said that earlier. He he, he also brought up it was like a th a three hundred sixty oh, degree angle. Debater is asking fate. Yes. I know, but I'm slick. just saying stuff that no, I know we you. Heard. I know you're allowed, but like, slick yeah. should have. I know. Just say oh. slick, let him. Hey, so what is the debate? <laughs> I want when he argued to, when he first brought up deflection. What did you say for that again? Hey, when he first brought up like deflection, I said, okay, he can deflect some linear attack, but can he deflect an attack that's coming from literally all angles, like from a 360, 360 perspective? Oh, attacks that can like be remote controlled. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they were homing attacks. Oh, I don't want. Okay, so okay, now that I have that, um. The whole deflection thing, I would have to side. I would decide with um with fate with with fate for that one. I thought fate. I thought Slick already did pretty well, but I thought that I was a bit more convinced by fate. Um, now what I really want to the whole healing thing, like Slick argued. I can barely hear you. I can barely hear him too. Can you speak up to my guy? Slim the man all up in you. Wait, 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 what about now? What about now? I can hear you a bit better. I might need to get new microphones. Just speak as loud as you can. Okay, so as I was okay, so as I was saying, right, for the healing point, right? So Slick argued that he'll recover from the drop of blood. Um Slick um Faith didn't really like go 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 against the scan itself. So, but he, what he brought, he did brought up. So, then for the healing part later down the line, he was for the healing. He brought up like um, saying oh, Tommy. Hero, he brought up like hero um dealing people like um like set like cell Majin Buu who was and Majin Buu was like a who was like who was like regen. When he asked about Slick was asking for like what what this can regen do, then they got on this like um they got on this point of like um cellular regen. We're talking about well, cells regeneration about them blowing up, and then they were, and then like Slick was arguing like, oh, like it seems to be like a really big cell the size the size of an organ, and then Faith arguing like, well, it's still a cell, so it's still cell regeneration. So in regards to this, like, to be honest with you, with you Slick, I thought you got no diff in this section, especially especially on like the whole like cellular cellular stuff. He brought up a pretty much one shot at point because, like, a cell is because, like, even if you say it's a big, if you say it's a big cell, it's still still. I would still say it's cellular region. And also, and also, like, Fate brought up a good point when he mentioned, oh, it would probably look that way because they were like sitting on the camera with the. So I thought that was. So whole thing, Fate, like, can you mute real quick? Because you're making a lot of noise too. I can't even hear him. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. I would have to give. I would have to give like um, yeah. I give that piece to like uh to, to fate. Um, let's see. What else? What else is hard? Then y'all y'all brought. Then we brought. Then y'all brought up like um the layers. You brought up like durability, negation, and durability like negation resistance. Just about to like bring that up to fate. Okay, I was supposed to bring that up. Okay. So, I thought you forgot. Yeah, that's fine. But like, okay, so. So for the whole durability and negation part, I felt I felt I felt like this I felt when went back and forth. But like honestly for like the good part of like the durability and negation part, you can ask the niggas in the commentary. I actually I thought I thought Slick was taking this point for like a good for like almost the entire time. Personally I just thought he was arguing it better. Then but but then like at the end, Fate kinda like came back 
arguing with arguing with five players, and then Slick pretty much like accepted it. So he got so he has like the layer thing. Also, also the three hundred and sixty degree regen thing. Like, like, like I agree with Slick on this part. Would it be like, well, the way how they're like going against him is not fully six hundred degrees. I agree with him that on that one. Right. Just the problem is that like. Because fate, because like also agreed with like face stuff with the whole reaction shit, right? And because I also thought he won like the whole um, not only healing part but also durability and shit, right? I just feel, like I just feel like it just wouldn't be enough, and the thing would just would just pretty much hit him. Maybe not instantly, but it, I think it would hit him. Let's um the skill the skill part, like in terms of like just like raw skill, like. Like slick got the edge on that one. Fate so instead so slick didn't really fate didn't really argue though. Know, what he argued instead, which I thought was a smarter decision, which was just argue, like, the, which is just like which is like the argue like the range. And yeah, like the massive key yeah, attack. Yeah, I hear you right. Yeah, I hear you right. So that's what I said. Yeah. He was arguing like this these massive key attacks to be like, oh, he was basically saying, okay, you can't outskill like a giant like beam for you. So I agree with him there. Slick. Tried to come back with like um with the whole in character thing, but then like but then and, like even if I discount what um niggas was saying in the commentary about it, like how faithful was arguing it with the whole like um with the whole skill modes thing, right? I just think that I just think that was enough to like generally just like prove his point. So like so so like overall. I'd I'd have I'd have I'd have to give this debate to faithful to faithful brawl, like um, um, I give it I I give I give him either like a mid diff or like a or like a high mid diff. I want to say high mid diff because like because like during the durability negation part, like he was like pressing feet like a like like a good like a good bit there, especially during that part. So that's when I thought it was like the most competitive. And like he did press him a bit for the in character thing, but then like fate just like poured on the gas and then just like got around it. So yeah, I think so I think so ultimately I think fate took this debate mid So I judge Okay. So my turn. Yeah. Okay. My turn. No, I'm gonna say this. After the debate, fate I'm gonna I'm gonna ring your neck and I'm gonna ring your neck. And uh, <laughs> hang on. I'll be waiting for anticipation. No, uh, I can't say. I'm gonna say after the debate because some stuff that were kind of fallacious. Okay, so and everyone, judge everyone. Let me do it. Okay, so now, so for the first, for like the first point with the whole instinctive reaction, you guys both counter that. Both both of you guys accepted it. Now, what I really want to get into was basically. Was basically about with the whole layers into like the whole durability durability negation. Obviously, fate got this point because BPC argued higher layers into it, and they also argued the whole destructive disc and flat out slick accepted it. So already right there and then, fate already got you with the whole destructive disc thing and and, and how it is going to pierce through your durability like on a higher degree. But now for like um. What was the points like now for like with the whole let's see and the I listed the points. Points. Oh, 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 oh. sell your stuff the sell your stuff with the whole sell your stuff slick you are stupid I'm just gonna say that you're stupid because because either way with this whole like with, it doesn't matter the size of it either way. Like, Fate already proved that his regeneration thing is on a higher degree. And he already proved that. And I was going to say, just for you to say that if it's bigger, if it's bigger, or if it's, like, smaller. Here's the thing. Blood itself has cells in it. So, so, so literally, what makes you think someone regenerating from a cell or someone, someone regenerating from a drop of blood? Obviously, the one that's cellular is a lot higher than the, than the, than the drip of blood. Now, for another thing, was the whole cell in the freezer thing. Like, Fate already proved, he already proved that that cell is higher than Frieza, and I don't know what, what, what are you on, but, ev like, literally everyone knows 
Cell is higher than Frieza, and and how Cell has all the, has all the Z Fighters DNA that are inside of him, which he they clearly proved that. Now for the whole deflecting thing, again, is not BFR. He's but but what Fate is saying is that is that he's just use his comic Kamehameha to basically blast you into space. That is not BFR. What are you on? Another thing. Let's see. What's, what's another thing? But the whole spiritual stuff, that was I, that's the only part I liked. Now, when it's towards going towards the skill argument, you were having it at first, but then again, bait came back. You could have pressed on some points, but you didn't. You weren't pressing at all during all this debate. While Fate over here, which I'm actually kind of proud, you almost made me shed a tear, of how you were actually pushing, you were, you were pushing him, and then how you were pushing him basically on every point. Even on the skill point, like, I was actually quite very surprised, like, on the skill point of how you were basically arguing of how, like, uh, of how, like, will Wolverine, like, has the, the whole skill point, even trying to downplay skill point. I actually like that actually, like, very well. Let's see. Back. Let's see. And then and then you also argue your skill point extremely good, too. And then... Uh, and, and then, like, another thing, like, towards the end, uh, well, uh, during your conclusion, when, when you said that you had all the points, you really didn't have all the points. I'm just going to say this. Fate 1, low, like, low to mid-diff. And that's my conclusion. Okay, my turn. I made a Bible and commentary. Uh, I'm just going to read that. Unleash the King James. But yeah, like, they said most of what I was going to say, but I'll go into a few things more. Uh, like, it, obviously, it's instinctive, instinctive reactions on each other. Uh, I didn't watch all the clips, but even if you did say there was a gap between, like, the 360 destructor disc thing it's it's a homing attack equal stats and like with the higher layers you just get nagged it's like oh even if they don't touch you to like little pieces right away you can't regen from any of those wounds so you're just nagged <laughs> but uh for the cellular thing uh i'll bring up the a, com a better comparison like with subatomic like you were saying like oh it's better because it's uh, smaller, but that's not really the case. It's not better just because it's smaller. It's better because you're targeting or like protecting more fundamental pieces of your matter. And like, like uh, I don't know how to say it very well, but the size, like they said, doesn't really matter. Like you're you're still attacking more fundamental pieces of the matter. You're not just just attacking the skin and the bones. You're attacking like everything that makes it up, the building blocks of life the building blocks of that person. So that's why it still works. Also, like, I don't know why you uh, brought up, like, <laughs> uh, did Frieza regen from that? Because he, he didn't. No one said that. Frieza did tank some attacks. Uh, it was only when they were a higher degree when it fucked them up. Uh, let me see what else. Um... Let me look at my list again. Oh yeah, with the oh yeah with the with the durability negation like scaling chain for layers. Uh, that was probably the longest point in this debate. <laughs> it was like durability negation layers the debate. <laughs> but uh, you were both doing pretty good. Uh. This was one of the few points uh, Slick really did push the best in, but Fate never stopped pushing. Like Slick at least explained his scaling chain better than Fate in the near the end, but Fate explained his earlier parts better earlier, and I can see where Fate had some like questions or issues with some of the things like Thor's hammer and all that, but like he gave it to you anyways because then he just got a higher. Now, Fate didn't explain his higher scaling chain later very well, but you accepted it, so it was a GG. Also, he has more, more different kinds of durability negation than you do in defense to it. He brought up, like, 
mental, spiritual, physical, physical on a cellular to atomic level. Then he brought facial with Janimba. Uh, you brought up uh, Wolverine nagging durability, but you didn't say you didn't quantify to what degree for the material that for the for nagging physical mil- uh, material. Like you didn't say like atomic to atomic. You didn't say anything like that. So it was unquantifiable. You brought up spiritual was good. He has defense to it, and there's the higher layers. It doesn't do shit. And fate was just like, cut you to pieces. Let me see else. Um, attack reflection. That was a bit of a messy point. It wasn't pressed as much as, uh, as Slick could have, and he brought it near the end for some reason, even though he, he, he didn't really defend it that well at the beginning. You have Wolverine deflecting lasers and stuff, energy. You just say it's energy, but you didn't try to equate it to stuff that can neg durability and and like spiritual stuff and other stuff like that. But he didn't prove it, so it doesn't mean jack shit. And like you neg little lasers, it doesn't mean you can neg a big attack, like deflect the whole thing or deflect sixty degree attacks. Because but, but, even uh... if he spun around, like. He's not going to hit all those attacks. <laughs> so, I don't know what that was on. <laughs> so, yeah. The attack reflection didn't really get... Uh, he didn't really uh, defend it or push it very well. Uh, so, he, it didn't protect him from the later things. Uh, let me see what else. Obviously, Slick wants... Uh, Skill, like Kira said, I was surprised that Fate actually pushed him on this, even though he didn't use skill. He just pushed him on his arguments of skill, which was pretty interesting. Uh, the adaption that was left there, but like, you're not going to adapt to 360 home acts that completely neg you. So, yeah. <laughs> like, let me see. The effect could just teleport and, like, the 360 destructive disc homing barrage just turn you into mincemeat and then like add up, just erase you with a key blast. The pushing out of space point was, in my opinion, just a joke point from fate. It seemed like a joke point because it didn't really matter. <laughs> and it was kind of silly, but you didn't really counter it. Like I said, your tag reflection wouldn't work. And like... Um, like, the whole character and character argument was just very weird. It's very weird for this character, but the baby covered that already. Um, so, I think that's it. Uh, am I missing a point? Wait, um, when I did say the pussy out of space thing, I was being serious on that point. Yeah, I know, I know you were being serious, but it just seemed like a joke point. Because of how silly it was, and it didn't really matter. Even if you lost it, you would have still won. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. good. Um, yeah, fate. I mean, there a scan for Wolverine's blood. They'll go over it later, but you you should really read the scans more closely to see if they're legit or not. They'll go over that with you later. Yeah, because uh, Kira but, has to say some. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say something too after Kira too. My bad, I mean interrupt. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're gonna do judgment first, then I'm gonna slam him on the thing. I'm not going to hey, judge, you know. There's okay. no use. There's no sense. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I'm slamming uh, you guys now. So, hey, my hey, judgment um, is basically, wait, like, wait, wait. My judgment is, I will give Flick some credit. He pushed him on a few points. The best points he pushed him on were uh, their ability negation and, uh, let me think, maybe character, but, like, the other points he pushed, but not not really to that extent. And to be honest, it doesn't compare to the level of fate where he was pushing you on every single point, even if he didn't argue still. He pushed you on that. Like he never stopped pushing. Basically, fate was was uh, not being passive, which is really good for him. Uh, it is surprising to see fate this uh, assertive. So that's good. I would give this rating like a fate wins low to mid diff. Like, the only reason you would even get it to mid diff is because Slick pushed back decently a few times, but, like, if you just... Everything else was, like, low diff. Okay, yeah. so it's not my turn to slam them now. I guess you the recording, wait, though. Wait, 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 hold on, let me call yeah, me. Yeah, so the-